January transfers are done. We've had some registration issues. We've won some games. We've lost some games. It's been a little bit up and down, but we're still in the top half of the table. Well, things are going quite well with Project Palermo. Welcome to Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP here in the glorious DP Dome with all our fancy lights. But that's not what you're here for. You are here for the awesomeness that is Palomo FC. And as you can see, we are in fourth place, three points behind Milan in third and a little further back from Inter. But that's fine. And today we've got a couple of big, big games for you, but there's been some shenanigans. So we'll be playing Lazio and we'll be playing Juventus as discussed, but some of the fixtures are being moved around because of Copa Italia and other commitments for other teams, not us. So I'll play Torino offline and we'll come back for Juve at home. But uh, there's been some action, which has been nice. And some of it not so nice, but that's fine. Bit of green, lots of wins, uh, some losses, which were tough to take. The loss against Fiorentina was disappointing. Getting knocked out of the Copa Italia against Atalanta. I'm not too bothered about it, to be honest. It went to a shootout, it went to extra time, but we just, we really didn't have it that day. The 3-3 against Udinese was nuts. As you can see, eighth minute, we went ahead. Uh, we'll have a look at this one because it really was madness. Uh, so we scored early, we were 2-0 up, and then they've come back and scored three very, very quickly. And I had no idea what to do. It was inexplicable. They just steamrolled us. And then uh, Segre uh, came on late and bailed us out with a late equaliser. But it's a game we really should have won. Uh, the match against Lecce, we were just ruined, absolutely ruined. I'm not even sure the match stats tell the story, but as you can see, 60% possession. 12 shots, 6 on target, an XG of almost 1, 1 goal from Abansky at the death, but they just ruined us in the first half, and we didn't have a reply. So, I was panicking a little bit, but we bounced back with a 2-0 win against Atalanta. So, all is right with the world. And we have done some January transfer business, and it's been a bit of a mess uh, due to squad registration, and I think I got confused. So, part of the issue was... Uh, this guy, who we've talked about before, Otto Graziani, 19-year-old uh, now Colombian, who was 18 when we signed him. He looks awesome. But if we go to the squad and we look at squad registration, this is what was doing my head in the whole time. Non-EU. He's a non-EU player because he's Colombian. We already had a bunch of them. We had Garan Kuol. We had Evandro. We had The Gift, Shakahani. You may not see him here. There's an explanation for that. We'll get to that in a second. We also had Valpato, the Australian, who's disappointed me no end. Uh, and I've sold him. But Graziani, I was freaking out because we couldn't get him registered in the squad. So I've had to loan the gift out, Shakahani, in an effort to be able to register Graziani. Did that, still can't register him in the squad. Sold Valpato, still can't register him in the squad. And then it's clicked. He's under 22. And the rules for the league, under 22 uh, players are automatically eligible to play in all games. So I've loaned out the gift, who was very handy to have. He's popped up with important goals. Didn't need to. Probably didn't need to sell Valpato either and could have kept him around to help out from time to time. But as things stand, I think we're fine to use Otto Graziani in games. And we're going to give it a shot. My computer, my other computer, because I've got three of them, is singing at me. And that's enough of that business. That's going to happen every single episode. I should stop recording on my lunch break for work. Anyway, that's all gone on. And we'll have a look at the transfer history because there's still some things in motion. We haven't signed a lot of players. The ones who have come in, uh, MacMe has gone out on loan straight away. Even though now I know, probably didn't have to. That's annoying. Graziani came in as well. And most of these guys, as you can see, uh, this Ripamonte, Pacifico, Pandolfi, all of them are a bit rubbish. They've got a bit of potential. And the director of football was like, oh, can I have one? And I was just like, sure, Doffer, fill your boots, knock yourself out. So he got to have a play with some money and some transfers. They're all fine for knocking about in the under 20s. But I have made a couple of signings, either out of desperation or just curiosity. So Christian Del Grosso was available, uh, really quite cheap, very high potential, which is exciting. He's come in from Salonitana. Remember them? We used to play against them. But he's joined us now, and I think he could be a bit of all right. And then we've loaned this guy from Inter, 
uh, Filippo Redaelli, and he's got yellow and green numbers all over the place. And because I sold Volpato, just wanted another option on the right wing, especially with Shakahane going out on loan. Uh, because we needed to cover that position. It's a short-term loan. There's options to buy, but he's too expensive. Uh, again, high potential. He can help us out, and it's about the same level of ability as other players in the squad. So that'll be fine. But there have been a lot of movements out, so a whole bunch of loans, as discussed. Uh, Wachara Makmi, who's been away on international duty with Thailand at the AFC Asian Cup. Uh, he's gone out on loan to Udinese. He can play against us, but I think we're done facing them this season. Uh, young midfielder, Stefano Pesucci, he's gone out on loan as well. He's got decent potential. He's probably never going to break into the first team, but he's been knocking about the squad all season. I wasn't using him. Figured, go out and get some game time. This guy as well, uh, Lent, uh, Lentignotti, that's what I'm going with. He's a striker. Uh, decent potential, but we don't need him around. So go out on loan, sir. Christian Volpato, I was a little bit sad about to sell him, but we're getting decent value. We paid... Uh, 450 grand for him three seasons ago. He's never really lit it up. He was fine in Serie B, but in Syria, just yeah, not good enough. Despite persisting with him and being desperate to get a performance, it just hasn't happened. So he's gone on loan to Como, um, but as part of the deal, as you can see, there's an optional future fee of 2.4 million, which hopefully they exercise. We get him off the books, and that's a decent chunk of change, which is. Nice. Alessio Bataro has gone out on loan. I don't think there's any future fee attached to that. I wanted to use him, but he just hasn't progressed and developed the way that I hoped. And he's 25 now. I just don't think it's it's ever really going to happen for him. No future fee attached. He's gone out on loan. They're not really paying for him, but he's not here and he's not whinging. So that's fine. This one hurt, though. Sending gift out on loan for no reason. So mistakes were absolutely made. And I'm a little bit dirty about it. He's gone off to Torino. So he's playing in Serie A still. Uh, he's played a couple of matches. He was really good for us. And I, mm, I didn't want him to leave because he was very, very handy, which is why I brought in that other loanee, Radielli. But hopefully he can get some game time over there, come back to us and be awesome next season. And then this guy is another youngster who's trash. Uh, and he's going out on loan as well. So that's all the business that we've done. Our dynamics are quite good, despite the wobble. Jungdahl wants more game time. He's a moron. Uh, <laughs> tell you this story. So he's a goalkeeper. He's our backup goalkeeper. We tried to sign him a couple of seasons ago as well. We finally got him in. He's here as a backup. Nothing really wrong with it, other than he doesn't play. And when he did, he conceded a goal, and that frustrated me. But he came to me saying, hey, boss, I need some more game time. I want to play some games because I'm not getting a call up for, for Denmark. I said, nah, I'm not so sure. And he's like, oh, come on, boss, hook me up. And I said, I tell you what, you're a good player. I'll play you in the Cups. And he said, brilliant. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to play in the Cups for Palermo FC. Uh, we got knocked out of the Copa Italia in the third round. And he asked me about all this before the Udinese game. So he was on the bench, watched us get knocked out of the Cup. We don't have another Cup competition. And he said, yeah. Play me in the cups. No dramas. Young Dale is an idiot. We might need to replace our, our backup goalkeeper. But otherwise, it's all systems go. So we are going to run off right now and play Alazio. And it's going to be great. And we're going to beat them. I've already decided. We have made some tweets to the tactic as well. So I'll show you that right now. Uh, the inverted fullbacks. We were just so leaky and panic after that other match where we drew 3-3 and we were just hemorrhaging goals and I couldn't explain it. So I've gone back to fullbacks and a wingback. Gallo is a wingback. Pirozzi is a fullback just to try and shore things up. I've ended the libero experiment with Velukovic because I don't have the inverted fullbacks now to, to help cover him roaming forward. And I've changed the doper from the halfback because that, despite it looking okay in the match engine, was not having the desired effect. We were no more solid at the back. So I'm trying him as a ball-winning midfielder just to, to change it up and see if he can get in there and protect the defence a little bit more. So the back line is Gallo, Maturo, who I'm really liking now, and so are the assistant coaches because they're always telling me to play him. Uh, Vlukovic and Perozzi, Adopo at the base of the midfield. Behind Ranocchia and Urbanski, we've got green lines between Adopo and these guys, but no line between Ranocchia and Urbanski, which is frustrating, hopefully. That's the thing that will happen at some point. Saidi on the left, who's not been in the best form, hopefully can recapture that today. 
and then new boy Ruddy Ellie st- getting the nod on the right. Garen Kowal still tired after international to duty, so he'll probably come on off the bench. And Evandro up front, who now has seven goals all season. He's done better than uh, what's his face, Chiquito, Chiquinho, uh, and Brunori last season, which is awesome. He's outscored them. Vindication. He's still very, very young. And I don't even think he can speak the language yet. Would that be under information? Language is fluent in Italian, so he can absolutely speak the language. And I'm just a dirty, dirty liar, but that's fine. He's going to come good. He's getting there. And he has these flashes of brilliance, but fluffs his lines at the last minute and puts his shot wide or, or something. But he's contributed. He's got some assists as well. Uh, so seven goals and four assists, averaging a 6.83. I'm fine with it. He is a project. And he's one for the future. But the plan is that Graziani, assuming it doesn't split the dummy in a second and tell me I can't use him, it, uh, I'm training him to play striker. And then uh, after this season, we'll start working on wing play for him to uh, create his role in the team. But I'm very excited about that guy. And he's going to have to cover at striker because there's really no one else who can do it besides uh, Chiwana. Kowal can do it, but he's going to be better. So I'm all for it. Anyway. Let's go and play this match. We've looked at the team. Uh, and I can't use him. He hasn't even cracked it that he's not registered in the squad. But I'm going to have to make him available for the under-20s forever for this season. Because I just can't play him. And that's devastating. Oh, what a moron I am for not checking the rules. And I've loaned out. Shikahane for nothing. Luckily, we brought in the loan, who's as good as, if not, maybe better. Nobody knows. Let me know down in the comments what you think of that. Or just in the comments, point and laugh. Use a point emoji and some laugh emojis and remind me what a moron I am. Because that's so dumb. So, so dumb. If you watch The Wizard of Oz... Back in the day, over on Twitch, we're streaming Deadpool FC over on Twitch at the minute, but Wizard of Oz is my main save every year. Uh, we've done it once, say every year, I've done it once, uh, but we're doing it again for FM25. Uh, Nestory Irin Kunda at Adelaide United in Australia's A-League. Um, yeah, I accidentally did not register him in the squad for the whole first half of the season and he couldn't play. This is worse because I tried to fix it and it's done nothing there's nothing I can do Graziani can't play for us until next year very very frustrating anyway let's not worry about it we've got a squad we've got players on the park that's something and we just need to hold our own against Lazio a Lazio who were down in 10th place so we should be beating them but our form has been a little bit so we'll see what happens we're at the wrong end of the park Lazio uh, in our final third, and I don't care for it. But here's Evandro. He does this a lot, gets him in a good position, collects the ball, but the defenders just get too many numbers back and uh, nip it in the bud, which is annoying. And passes like that do my head in, and they just run through us. So look at the numbers they've got going forward. It's a good save from Fruitdale, but we usually concede that goal. And if it wasn't for Fruitdale, we'd probably be way, way down the table. This guy has been such an important part of the puzzle for us at Palermo, getting rid of um, Angoli or whatever it was, <sighs> really mattered, but then this happens. I'm big enough for Iqdor and he concedes a goal, because of course he does. And what are you, what are you doing on the near post, who are you, Gallo, like, you did nothing, you may as well have not been there, you idiot, great thing, I'm not having this. 1-0 down. We haven't even had a shot. Out of possession. I've been doing this a bit. Dropping down to a, a low block and lowering the defensive line a little bit. I'd like to trap them outside if we can. And uh, I want to run at the defence and be more expressive. And I need to turn that on. Moving forward. Because it seems to make a difference. As you can see, that was a handball. It looked like a handball. My word. But we've equalised. Or have we? The ref's going to have a look at... What are we doing? Why are we going to the town? Don't disallow it. I'm going to be delivered. He's disallowing it, isn't he? 
rubbish. There was a handball right before that too. But no, we just ignore that. Oh, amazing. Maybe it was just a glitch in the match engine, but it definitely hit a Lazio arm before that shot was taken and we get nothing for it. And I'm just worried the game's decided, you know what, <clears throat> you've been doing too well and we're resetting the random number generator and now you're going to go on a, a horrible run of form. Which would be really disappointing. We've massively overperformed this season. We're up in the Champions League spot, which in and of itself is ludicrous. But now that we're there, I'd like to stay there. Because the players have worked for it, for the most part. But it's stuff like this, it's questionable. It's just too easy. Just too easy. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. It's very frustrating. And this has been happening a little bit of late and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if it's player roles. I don't know if it's just players are tired because we've been playing a lot of football. You have been terrible so far. You can definitely turn it around because we've done it before, but you need to pull your digits out, boys. We're going to encourage them straight away at the beginning of the second half. Matura's not showing up. And now Lazio are on the attack again. And, oh, I thought we were going to score there. Ready, Ellie. There is not the answer on the right-hand side. I think we're going to make a substitution momentarily. Something's got to give here. Pinocchio with the ball in. It was rubbish. It's done nothing for us. And then Lazio picked it up and they're going to launch a counter-attack. I wouldn't be surprised if they score. If we could win the ball back, it would be delicious. But we've not made a habit of that of late. If Andre doing his best to try and get in the way but mostly ineffective and here we go Saidi heads it aimlessly forward Vandro's rubbish in the air so I don't even know why we're trying that now they're just going to pass around us numbers flooding forward into the centre and Perossi's giving away a penalty so we may as well make these changes now because this game's gotten away from us and it's a bit of a disaster not going to lie oh I'm not a happy camper right now this is not being fun and Frigg was on a 6.4 I've got to stop talking about players because as soon as I do when they're doing well and they're making a difference they just give up on us and bottle it this is infuriating oh that goal was disallowed lovely or it wasn't a penalty I should say it wasn't a goal at all this will be there's Evandro heads it forward you're the striker Evandro there's no one beyond you to collect that Trying to encourage him, but we've just got some grumpy boys. We're going to go attacking. We're going to change this. This low block thing has not been effective, so we're going to push up and just totally hamstring ourselves. We need to regroup and not counter press, and we need to counter attack when we win the ball back, I think is the way to go. And it's probably not going to make a little difference. Oh, the other change I need to make is to get Matura off because he's been terrible today. Um, I don't know what else to do. I, think I don't have a lot of options. I might take off a Bandro. I'll bring a Vasic on that side. So great can come on for a Bansky. He just hasn't shown up today. Because again, I mentioned his name that he was playing well with Radakia. But there was no line. Now we know why. Because uh, I'm a, I don't know, just misguided. We've done nothing in this game. Four shots, none on target. 40% possession. And I can't explain it. I'm just baffled. Everyone's exhausted, but still. Oh, we got a shot on target. Brilliant. I'm furious. I'm far from pleased. Not happy with your performance. Not at all happy with your performance. Yours either. Ready, Ellie? Not good enough today. Just poor. Very poor. And what does that do to the league table? We're still in fourth, but Juve have got a game in hand on us, so we could drop down. I mean, Europa League placed would still be amazing, but I like being in these bits. This bit's really nice. It's fun up there. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to go play Torino. Hopefully pick up a win against one of our own players because they've got Volpato. If he comes back to bite me in the bum, I'm going to be livid. And then I'll catch up with you lot 
uh, uh, when it is time for the next match at home against Juventus. It's not even on the telly, but you'll get to watch it. You're welcome. We're back and we limped to a one nil victory over Torino. It wasn't great. It was a last gasp penalty from Adopo that got us over the line. Um, it's just a boring game. It, it was horrible and you should be glad you missed it. But we're going to go and play Juventus. Uh, full disclosure, I don't know he's playing because I've just hit quick pick. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I'm just frustrated at the way we've been playing and I, I don't know what to do or really how to fix it. I just want to have a quick look at what we've got going on here. Let's turn off all this rubbish uh, and the work ball in the box because it's not working for me in transition. Let's regroup when we lose possession. Let's counter attack when we win it. Let's distribute to our fullbacks rather than the center backs. And over here, oh, I don't know about a lower line. Let's go with a standard line and let's not trap outside because that's not working either. All right, so that's that. The squad that my assistant manager has picked because I can't be bothered are uh, Freak Dillingo, Gallo, Maturo, Volukovic, and Perotti in the back line, Adopo, Ranakia, and Segre gets a nod. Uh, in place of Obanski, Saidi on the left, Chona on the right, and Radielli filling in up front because Evandro has got a runny nose. He's very, he's got a cold. Poor boy. So send him home. Go home if you're sick. It's like being at school. That's all right, lad. You just go home, rest up, watch cartoons. It's fine. Let's go and play Juventus and take our medicine. We do have an opportunity to jump them and get back into fourth place if we can win this game it is important uh, we've got a revenge option so we're going to go with that we're going to pump the fists and try to rev everybody up as best we can and see what happens i'm tripping over my tongue probably because i'm tired tired of dealing with ropey form draw loss win law loss win we're all over the shop look like another run of green dots like we've had in the past jeez they've got some good players vlajevic turam it's a big ask but you can see we're level on points, not on goal difference. Juventus have beaten us previously, but if we win here, I think we go above them. Well, we should, because we'll have more points than them. That's how maths works, everybody. So that makes perfect sense. Right. Uh, Juve have the football. I'd like to win it back if we can. If that's all right with, with you gentlemen in pink shirts, that would be great. Like, Juve are a good team. And we said earlier in the season they were underperforming. They've been underperforming for a while, but they're very, very dangerous. We're overperforming, and we're showing that uh, with our form at the moment. I'm going to keep talking about form because it's a real concern. I spent a long time waiting for the wheels to, to fall off because we've been on a great run. And I suspect the second half of the season, everyone's going to stop taking us quite so lightly and start showing us some respect, which I don't like at all. Disrespect us. Treat us like crap. Mistreat us. That's all coming out wrong. But you get the idea. That we don't want to have to actually compete. We want them to take us lightly and not do this. Which is score goals against us. I don't care for it. And that's after five minutes in front of our home fans. Everyone's tracking back. We've asked them to regroup. Cross it in. And Gallo just oblivious. To the man coming in behind him he jumped up taken a ride on his back and headed home not good enough just not good enough and now we've got a job in front of us because we've got to get back into this game and no one appears to be up for it let's uh let's go a little bit narrower and we'll try that i'm fiddling and you know it's bad and you know things aren't going well when you start fiddling in football manager. It doesn't help. It always makes things worse. We all know this. Let's tell them there's no pressure, despite the fact I put pressure on them before kicker. Nobody cares. That's all gone wrong. We're going to have to go attacking because they're about to score again. I can feel it in my bones. Here it comes. Ooh, it's a good save from Fruit to make a liar of me. I'll just tell them they score every time. You guys can't score a goal. You're all rubbish. And you don't have any goal scoring ability or capacity at all. How about that? Prove me wrong, Silent Bob. I think it'll work. Let me know in the comments if you think that'll work. They've got some tired bodies and we're just not taking advantage of it. No shots in that first half. I'm going to thrash my arms and you've been terrible. 
I'm not happy with the defensive work, disappointed with the midfield, and you've not been good enough in front of goal. Sort your lives out. You're better than this. You've been better all season. You know, demand more. It's just not working. Saidi hasn't shown up. They're coming at us again here. We've gone attacking, which is risky because they've been all over us, but we just need to try and make something happen. They're only one nil up, but still. This is not ideal. Here's Radiali, the new boy. And that's a lovely strike from him. Oh, it is one all. Out of nowhere. Early in the second half, some signs of life at long last. <laughs> to be fair, Evandre did put the ball in the back of the net in the Torino game. It was disallowed for offside. That is a great strike from the edge of the area. Well done, Radiali. No more 6.3s or whatever it is for you. Not today, at least. Right. We're back in it. I'm feeling better. What a roller coaster this is turning out to be. And Juve are exhausted. Nearly all of their players have red hearts. So we should make some changes very, very soon. Get some fresh legs on the pitch and try to destroy them. This Saidi. He's got players in the center if we can find them. He does. Radiel is in again for a second. And suddenly, this game has been flipped on its head. And I can't explain why. Because all I did was yell at them. So, there's that. So he's picked up an assist. He's going to be in the green now. Rodielli with his left foot. He just needs a header, I think. Because I'm pretty sure the other one he scored with his right. The first goal. Delightful stuff. Right. Gallo is exhausted. He's going to have to come off. Which vexes me greatly. Maturo is going to have to go out there on the left. And Mercandali is going to have to come into the centre of defence. Runner Key is exhausted, so Abanski can come on for him and plays a Mazala. That's going to have to do. And Chona really hasn't shown up, so Garen Kowal is going to come on and play on the right-hand side for us. And hopefully, keep everything spinning on. We just need to not concede now, which is not our strong suit at all. We're really good at conceding goals. So, but... With a bit of luck today. We can shake off the cobwebs. So he shoots, hurls it, and it goes around the outside of the post instead of inside. I think the keeper had it covered if it had been on target. But it was a decent effort. And again, some creativity and some positivity. It's about time. That's just a poor ball, but we get away with it somehow. But now we've given it up. And look at them flood forward. We just don't have the numbers at bat. Turam's in, Segre claims, but he does that all the time, and it does my head in. I, whoa, just aimless balls and lazy passes. He's definitely leaving the club in the summer, because I've seen that too many times to put up with it anymore. There's Abanski off the bench, and the tactical genius, those fresh legs have made a difference, despite the fact that I was terrified 45 seconds ago with Juve just invading our half of the pitch at volume. It was scary. But this is glorious, and we're on track for a famous victory against Juventus if we can hold on and pull it off. We've lost games from better positions than this, so hold on your butts. We're in for a wild, wild ride. Right, we have some very tired bodies and not a lot of options. So Ratnik is going to come on and play there at right back. And Dopo is exhausted. I don't have a defensive midfielder to replace him except for 20-year-old Dave Weiss, who is not going to play for us. Saidi is spent, but he's playing well. So I think I'm going to take him off, bring Vasic on to play as the advanced playmaker. And again, just fresh legs in midfield, despite the fact he's not match sharp at all that is our lot yeah. and come what may come at me don't come at me bro don't come at us at all we're not going to play for set pieces because we're not good enough to do it it never works and we don't score from them when we do so who cares but we have done it oh my word ruddy ellie with a 9.1 out of nowhere and that's a fantastic result. I feel bad that I've rubbished them all <laughs> throughout the game because they did turn it around. 
uh, Saidi also, he was brilliant. An eight match rating, and I have not seen that kind of performance from him for a dog's age. Dopa was great too with a 7.3. Jolly good show, gentlemen. Oh, brilliant. And that puts us in four, fourth place. Three points clear of Juventus, eight points clear of Sassuolo and Fiorentina, and well clear of relegation, which we've never been in danger of at any point this season. That is a delicious looking league table. <clears throat> we could still finish bottom if we lose every game, which is a bit of a concern, but so far, so good. So that is Lazio and Juve out of the way, despite a little hiccup. Two wins on the bounce. We're on a roll. We're officially on a roll. I think we're going to come back and we will have a look at... Uh, we've already played them. I think we'll come back for Cagliari and Roma and just see if we can continue this run, how things are shaping up. Cagliari and Roma will be our matches in the next episode and you'll find out then if we can hang on to fourth place or potentially climb even higher. If you're enjoying Project Palomo, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, do all the things, leave comments, tell me what you think, especially about the stupid transfer shenanigans. But until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Oh,